At this year's edition of the Korea Army International Defense Exhibition, South Korea's Hanwha Aerospace unveiled the world's first autonomous amphibious robotic missile launcher. Designed for amphibious assaults and high-risk coastal operations, this unmanned system promises to deliver maximum firepower with minimal human involvement that could enhance operational capabilities in challenging environments. This technology could be especially crucial for the South Korean Navy, given the persistent threat from North Korean aggression along the peninsula's maritime borders. So, in today's video, we're exploring this multi-rocket launcher and how its unmanned design, amphibious capability, and precision systems could redefine coastal defense strategies. Let's dive in. The Korean company Hanwha Aerospace introduced their newest uncrewed missile launcher at the Korea Army International Defense Exhibition earlier this month, marking a significant leap in autonomous military systems. In fact, this new launcher might be the world's first autonomous amphibious robotic missile launcher. Weighing around 17 tons, this missile launcher represents a notable reduction in weight compared to previous systems, such as Hanwha's successful crewed K239 Chunmu MLRS, which weighs approximately 31 tons. This lightweight design enhances its operational flexibility, allowing deployment from amphibious assault ships and transport vessels. It can reach coastal and island locations that would otherwise be challenging to access, providing a critical advantage in distributed operations. According to a social media post by the manufacturer, the vehicle's advanced stabilization system compensates for the movement of ships, ensuring that the launcher remains accurate even in rough seas. This proprietary technology guarantees pinpoint precision in maritime environments, where wave action often complicates targeting. The fully autonomous nature of this missile launcher is, of course, a key feature that enhances crew safety. By removing personnel from the launch area, the system reduces the risk to soldiers in high-threat environments, such as amphibious assaults and counter-battery operations. The system can deliver firepower while minimizing exposure to enemy fire, making it ideal for missions requiring rapid strikes from unpredictable locations. The system is designed to be compatible with South Korea's existing Chunmu MLRS, enabling it to deploy a range of munitions, including various rockets and guided missiles. This compatibility ensures smooth integration into current military operations, providing added flexibility for various mission types. Hanwha Aerospace is also developing new coastal defense capabilities for the Chunmu MLRS, including an anti-ship ballistic missile payload scheduled for completion by 2027. Development of the missile launcher will continue until 2026, with plans to integrate advanced electronic launch technology to further extend its range and enhance accuracy. The system is expected to be fully operational by 2033. Alongside the ASBM, future munitions may include the enhanced Korean tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile, which promises increased range and penetrative power, expected to be fielded by the early 2030s. In addition to its amphibious capabilities, the system's lightweight construction and unmanned design make it highly deployable in dynamic combat situations. Whether launched from a ship's deck or coastal terrain, it offers a mobile and precise fire support platform that enhances a military's ability to conduct rapid operations in contested environments. South Korea's autonomous amphibious missile launcher, the world's first of its kind, marks a significant advancement in military technology, combining autonomy, precision, and flexibility for modern warfare. This system could enhance South Korea's defensive capabilities against North Korean aggression, allowing for rapid response in high-risk coastal operations. While Hanwha Aerospace has not indicated any plans for export, the potential for this missile launcher to be adopted by other countries facing similar challenges adds to its importance in the global defense landscape. What do you think? Join the conversation below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analyses.